Welcome back to our channel once again. It is what it is. So as we all know, uh, Uncle Waffles man have been doing great. She's been doing great. But it seems like troubles have been starting to follow her wherever she goes, man. Uh, I'm saying this but now because right now, as you know, that she's wanted. She's wanted in Botswana. Uh, this is after the Swati uh, DJ was scheduled to perform Saturday in Botswana, but she didn't show up. And then with no explanation, then she went online or she went on social media and gave Botswana a middle finger. So as per contract, you know that uh, if you're an artist or a DJ or whoever it is, you need to pay back the money. So Botswana doesn't play games, guys. Botswana... Yo, 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 all the stories I've heard and all the things I've heard, they don't play games. So what happened is that um, the, the, the promoter that have booked her uh, have ended up opening a case against her. Reason being that she, she say, they're saying that um, she blocked the promoter in all the social medias. I think also she's not taking the calls. So that's the reason that he opened the case against her. And right now, she needs to pay back the money. If you remember, um, like two years ago, uh, DJ Heavy K also had an issue there. We had to escape through the back door of a hotel in Haburoni as the promoter was hunting him uh, with the warrant of arrest. Reason being that I uh, also didn't he did pull that no show uh, in one of the shows that he was booked on. And then DJ Maporiza also escaped. Uh, this year when he was forced to pay back the money you know in the last hour of his flight uh, to Botswana as the police were waiting uh, for him when he arrives in Botswana so they were waiting for him so that they can also arrest him for the same thing that he didn't show up in one of the shows so it seems like um, Botswana does not care who you are but if you put you pull a no show they will make sure that you pay back the money that you owe the promoters. Not here in South Africa where they say, I will sue you, we'll sue you. Hey, right there, you get arrested. And then if he, if you remember also, Prince Benza also was forced to extend his stay in Botswana because the court had confiscated his travel documents until he paid back the money he owed to the promoters. So also, uh, Uncle Wolf, uh, Waffles is also facing jail time if she doesn't pay back the money. That means she's in trouble, so she definitely have to pay back the money to the promoters, guys. What's happening with our artists taking gigs and now decide not to go, guys? What's going on? Because uh, this this doesn't look good, man. It doesn't look good at all, man. Come on. Waffles is doing good. He's doing great. You know, she, she's shining, and now we see that the sweaty DJ seems to be getting in trouble, you know. And then the reason the promoter, like I said earlier on, the reason the promoter did this was he was fr frustrated. So the promoter was frustrated. Then he reported waffles to the law, you know, opened the case, the police station demanding that they, she pays every penny they have spent on her, you know. So it's not clear that she had already settled the money uh, or she had paid back so far because we haven't had any news about it. So we're hoping that she had paid the money, you know, she had paid money, the money back. We're hoping she did pay the money back because if she doesn't, imagine going to Botswana to perform, just going home. Um, they, oh, I'm sorry, man. Just going there to perform and the next thing she's locked up until she pays the money. It doesn't look good in her brand. It doesn't look good at at all. At all, it doesn't look good. So, man, eesh, we're hoping she sort out her issues, man. She sort out all these issues because it doesn't pay, you know, it's not good to blue tick the events. It's not good to blue tick the events at all. Um, you, you, you might end up in trouble, man. Some countries, they don't play games. And then sometimes you can miss in big gigs, uh, big events, be just because you decided, you know what, I'm not going there. You know, I'm not going, I'm not going. And yeah, man, you end up having things like that happening. You know, you end up finding that uh, they're arresting you. You know, they, they're making sure that you get arrested. So I'm hoping that, um, yeah, man, Waffles does pay back the money uh, to the promoters. Nah, I don't know what you guys think. To me, I think it's completely wrong that she didn't, she didn't, uh, she didn't go to the event last week and blue ticked these guys in <laughs> and she put a no show. Um, yeah, man, snapping a show is not a great thing. But yeah, let's hope Uncle Waffles pays back the money. 
all they agree in terms of say that she's gonna perform in one of the events or whatever that happens. But from our side, guys, we're saying, man, settle this whole thing because ish ish. It's not okay, guys. We don't want you to get in trouble when you go to other countries. And some DJs might be scared to book you because of thinking act like, yeah, this person. They won't show up. You know what I mean? I'm out of here, guys. Love you. Subscribe, like, comment. Tell us what you think about the whole thing of Waffles not pitching up the show and blue-ticking the gig.